Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Marga. And welcome to this installment of the Think Before You Ink video series. Today, we're going to discuss data mining, a powerful technology that allows companies to use historical data to their advantage to improve profits and efficiency. So what exactly is data mining? Data mining, also known as knowledge discovery, is the automated process of analyzing large sets of data and then extracting relevant patterns that can be used to predict future trends. Data mining automates the detection of relevant patterns in a database using quantitative approaches and algorithms. The analyzed data is valuable because companies can use it to predict future trends and behaviors. This allows organizations to make proactive, knowledge-driven decisions. Data mining is mainly used by companies with a strong consumer focus in retail, finance, communication, and marketing. Large retail moguls such as Nike and Starbucks are two of the top users of this technology. Data mining allows companies to determine relationships between consumer behavior and sales. This enables companies to determine how these factors impact customer satisfaction and profits, among other business-centered ideas. Ultimately, data mining allows companies to gain competitive advantage and increase their profitability. Corporations want to know about your age, gender, income level, style of clothing, where you live, your level of education, favorite fast food joint, marital status, the number of children you have, what kind of car you drive, how much time you spend online, and where you spend it. The list goes on and on. So how does it all work? Data mining software gathers mass amounts of data and transforms it into manageable, targeted chunks, picking out subtle patterns and trends that would otherwise go undetected. Data mining is used to summarize and to simplify the data in a manner that we can understand it. It then allows us to make inferences based on the patterns we have now tracked and observed. Applications of data mining methods depend on the specific goals and needs of the company. One of the most common forms of pattern detection is association learning, which is the type of detection behind internet targeting. For instance, association learning might reveal that an eBay customer who bought a shake weight and a 30 liter keg of protein powder might also be interested in purchasing a muscle tank. This same form of pattern detection derives the Netflix movie recommendations and Amazon's tailored ads. Other common forms of pattern detection include clustering, anomaly detection, classifications, and regression. This brings us to the privacy concerns connected with data mining. You might expect public information like tweets to be mined, but what about private messages? In a recent lawsuit, Facebook is being sued for mining personal and private messages for potential advertising purposes. Hospital records are also being mined to sell to pharmaceutical companies. The craziest part about all of this? It's all legal. What about data mining within the classroom? Learning analytics is when a student's interactions with a learning management interface, like Connect, are tracked and analyzed by professors and school administrators. Your behavior on Connect can feed into an algorithm to determine learning trends, such as the average amount of time spent on the discussion boards or the number of people that have read the syllabus. And don't relax just yet. Learning analytics can also be used to track your individual behavior. Just how much time did you spend on those assignments? Your professor might already know. From how you interact with your professors to how you like your coffee, data mining tracks many aspects of your life. Were you aware that data mining played such a crucial role in your daily life? How could learning analytics and data mining impact you and your personal privacy? To learn more about data mining and how it can impact you, visit our website at www.digitaltattoo.ubc.ca.